so first things first is I'm going to be going to ahead and getting myself a guard uniform. And I'm... Oh, no. Well, okay. I'm not going to worry about too much the... You know what? No. I'm going to let it scroll by. Because I am not... I don't think I've ever sat through the entire opening of this Air Force Con thing going. There we go. Let's not press the button again. Like I always do. Uh, Tripping Matt, I used the... Uh, yes, what my escape was for the last one. I used the I'm Only Human escape. Um, I got the materials needed for a security pass, which is a blank security pass from one of the guards, some ink, and a feather. And then I used a red key card to go through the door at night after I used the shovel to chip through the wall. <laughs> And then I used a, a, a shovel to chip through the wall in the maintenance area that has the civilian outfit. Rather than trying to go ahead and getting a, a cyan keycard. Millie's Gaming has it. Described well what I did. Oh, this big long place. See, this is, this is me having escaped from all these prisons. Now they're like, look, we're going to send you into space. You can't possibly leave from there. But to get you to the space station to send you off, we have to fly you across the fly you across the world. So we're using this plane to fly you. And of course, here's the multiplayer only escape that's really easy to do. Just get three oxygen tanks and bring them all down there. Yeah. Tripping Matt, that's exactly what I did. I did get the medic outfit as well. Uh, but I ended up not... Like... Not really using it too much. Even though I really liked it. Uh, okay. And there you go. What do we got in here, I wonder? Um, not what we need. Let's see what we need. We need a makeshift harness, which is three rope. And then we need a parachute, which is the makeshift harness and a blanket. Not bad to get at all. So I'll just go ahead and grab that. And then throw these on the ground and get myself beat up. Actually, you know what? I'll just wait. I'll just wait for my heat to die down. It's not going to take too much longer. And yeah, I'll carry the bed sheet with me and throw that on the ground. Perfect. I think the first, yeah, the first time I did this was with other people. And so it wasn't until I was coming back making guides that I even did either of these. Like the first night that the game opened, everyone was like online, we were all trying out to do the different maps, we wanted to see how the, what the timed escapes were like, I found some people that would go with me through everything. It was great. There's a tank of oxygen I do not need. I'm going to go ahead and try the one below me before I go up and yeah, I should t check the desk over here. Just because I like to make sure. There's less desks on the bottom down here so it's faster to go through and then chances are if there's going to be a, the last one up top, if necessary, maybe. We will be able to just go right up. So when I say less discs, I mean apparently just the one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, no, no. I ran right by that. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Ken. Is that the officer? Yeah. That's a YouTuber. Now, I will be honest with you. I would love to be put into one of these games someday. That would be super sweet. Like, uh, I don't think that's going to happen until I get a little bigger in uh, viewers and subscribers, but it may happen one day, which is exciting to think about. Alright. Probably not in here. I'm not even going to look. Not even going to look. It might be in the contraband desk. 
Usually sometimes you get some good stuff. Nope. Although, I'm not grabbing the bleach. I'm not grabbing the bleach. I don't need the bleach. I'm just walk away. <laughs> walk away. Alright, we did get our last bit of rope. Alright, we are set to run away. What's funny is, like, there are these red doors all over the map. And it's like, you can't escape because there's no red keys. You have to go over here. Alright, there we go. Mules Gaming says, keep doing what you do and it will happen soon. Aw, oh, thanks. I'll try. Keep it up. It's you guys' support that's been able to make me make this a fun thing to do. So thank you. Alright, playing crazy is knocked out. Okay. We are down to the last two. They have sent me into space, thinking they can hold me. Little do they know they have not dealt with the Guru of Matt. This time I'm remembering not to click ahead. Approach convict. After 70 years in cryo sleep to reach this prison, you may now begin your 12 month sentence. All inmates are required to attend roll call. So that's actually something I never noticed. 70 years? Wow. Various nutrients are dispensed here. Please limit consumptions. <laughs> Visit the infirmary if your mortal body is damaged. These are not mechanics. Increase your operating capacity with gym equipment. Oh no! Please! Please stop! <laughs> it's too fast! These machines will assign you a job. Inmate. Inmate. In the event of an emergency, please use the provided escape pods once they are operational. Ah, it's the multiplayer escape. Oh, this takes me back. What do we have? Ah, oh, nothing good. Oh, we have a... Well, the Brookhale is not bad. If I eventually find enough material for an energy module, I can make a laser sword. Mm. First things first. Ah, oh, this, is, this is so nostalgic. I have spent so many hours on this map failing to escape. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I don't need to study. I don't need to look in a book. I don't need nothing. All I need is to grab a screwdriver from somewhere. So let's go ahead and look for that. Alright, not there. Not even gonna bother with talcum powder. Like, I'm gonna find the guy with the red key, beat him up for it, and then run. Although, I say that, but then I just like to make sure it's available if I want it in the future. And of course, uh, if I'm doing this to make sure that the cameras in these places don't spot me. Because that would be bad. You do not want to be... If they spot me while you're going through someone's desk, they will call a guard and it's bad news bears. But hey... Where is Officer Bray? Is that him? I can't see because he's talking. Nope. Yeah, so on my game, Officer Bray, like, T17 or whatever, he will always carry the red key for me. He's the guard that's in the third slot, I believe, in my, like, lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... guys in chat are talking I'm trying to follow along but uh, they're chatting more with each other and I'm like what's going on can I join so Chivery Matt says yeah once you know what you're doing this so special solo escape on this map is deceptively easy I agree that's what I'm gonna be going for and I'll be showing you guys what that is I'm gonna actually be going for a um, oh, oh I'm a silly man I'm going for uh, 
See, that's why you put these desks over here. I'm going for the jetpack. Ah, yes. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And with the great thing about the jetpack, it's not contraband. So you can go ahead and... Oh, thank goodness. I was worried for half a second that I'd get the same bug that I had on the last map where I couldn't get through here. Because that would have killed it right there. But anyway, the jetpack isn't contraband. Uh, you can use it to get free really quickly. And to get in here, all you really need is a screwdriver for the safe way. I know if you're feeling, like, adventurous, you can grab a red key and then try to sneak your way past the guards. Not feeling that adventurous, so I don't bother. I just get myself in here, grab what I need, and get going. <laughs> There's even a spare screwdriver in case I wanted one. And then for funsies, I like to put these back. I think it's fun. I don't know. I just... It's like, look, I wasn't here, honest. Alright. Is that the jetpack? I'm not going to need that anymore. Uh, Bray, 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 Bray. Are you Bray? No, you're not Bray. Where is Bray? I do kind of want to hit job time, and I don't have any kind of ban on me, so that's viable. Don't want to get extra stars. I'm going to be leaving pretty quick, so... Might as well put the stars down, though. Yeah, should be able to escape pretty easily. And this is, of course, after knowing what I do. Like, I don't know... I didn't know this when I first started out, and I spent, like... I think it's still on my Twitch channel. I have a clip of... or a highlight... or I have it saved. I did five hours on this map. Trying to figure out how to get out. Alright, so you're Lockhart, you're Gomer, Smurf, Calm, Littlewood, Minerva, Jambot, Mr. Bray, sir. There you are, Mr. Bray. Alright, alright, alright. Here he is. We should be able to get it and then just run this way and then leave. Actually, after I get past the door over here, I can actually just drop it and not worry. Okay, cool. He is in a little area all on his own. Although it is summoning a guard, so I should go ahead and run this way. And hopefully get him before another guard comes. Yeah, if I get up here. And hopefully he'll stop blocking. Come on, boy. Thank you. And then grab his uniform as well. Walk around. Uh, um, hmm. That was not in the plan, sir. So you were not part of my escape plan. Neither of you are part of my escape plan. Oh, but that I should have... Okay, alright, take two. We're just going to run this way around a bit. Uh, hope the lockdown doesn't get initiated before I escape. Oh, that was the thing I was hoping not happening. That was the thing I was hoping not happening. That was the thing I was hoping not happen. <laughs> oh, my stuff is taken. Ah, that was my bad. I didn't realize there was a second red door over there because I never used that. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Well, we know we can get back into the contraband desk. That's what I get. That's what I get for thinking I know everything. It's the game punishing me for my hubris. Yeah, yeah Millie's Gaming, I need to... I've like... actually need to remake... Well, I did sort of remake the video. I made another video afterwards. But my first one, I claimed that you need to go through that barrier in order to get the jetpack. Because that's the only place I knew where the jetpack was when I made that video. And, uh, unfortunately that's not really the case. You can actually go ahead and just get it from there, so... Three, two, one. There we go. Alright, hit up exercise time, because 
uh, tonight, if I, if I still am here, it will only go down two stars. I don't want to get any more extra stars. I think there's some dogs running around at this point. I should have dropped the jetpack when I got out here. I shouldn't have kept going, but I was like, focused. I was like, I can do it! I can still do it, coach! Keep me in! And uh, that turned out not to be the case. <laughs> And maybe I could find another screwdriver over here. No, but hey, some talcum powder. I don't need because I already have talcum powder. What kind of kind of things? Interesting, interesting. Oh, and then there's like a special guard uniform you can make. That's like a fake guard uniform. A makeshift robot guard outfit. So you need foil, duct tape, and some that stuff of the sheet metal. There's the sheet metal. I think I have some foil in my desk. So Millie's Gaming asks, just wondering, has anyone else been able to get YouTubers in prisons? Yes, actually. Like, the first time I was playing this, Markiplier came by and joined. He was like the fourth player. Um, I don't know if it was because I was just here for so long or what. But that was a trip. Check in there. Let's go ahead and throw this into my desk. Oh, this isn't my desk. But I might as well grab this. I don't have anything else good. Go ahead and throw these in there. I was going through my own desk! Why do they not like me? Well, if I'm getting knocked out, I might as well just walk myself to the infirmary. Well, ah, I forgot to guard. <laughs> so, a lot of the YouTubers in my prisons are the default characters that I found. Like, I, I haven't actually tried to randomize my stuff to look for them. Like, I, I've actually tried to ram randomize to look for them, but other than that, um... Ooh, if you're locked, if you're behind that door when lights out it's called, you get locked there. Not fun. Alright, so what I'm looking for is a screwdriver at this point. Unless I already have one on my desk, which would be nice. I don't know if I do. I don't think I don't. I don't think so. But this guy might have one. And I sh might have... I mean, there was a screwdriver in the contraband desk, so... Nope. No good. No good. I already checked that. I guess we check over here, then. I don't remember what was in this desk. Did we even check this desk? Or did we just use it? We did not check this desk. There we go. There we go. Get the back. I'm not going to worry about job time too much. A half a star at this point isn't a lot. I could go ahead and grab all these things because I can. <laughs> yes, let us put this back before going through it. No one saw that, right? No one saw that. Alright. I, I didn't... There we go. I mean, why not grab some chocolate? Maybe I can make myself some uh, chocolate in a cup. I need a cup as well. But tomorrow, I'm probably going to be walking around anyway, looking for... I don't know what I'd be looking for. I really don't know. There we go, there we go, there we go. So really, I still just need Officer Bray to escape. Like, I, see, this is the thing. If I, 
if I go through this door, then I can drop the key, go through here, not worry about the alarm. Or at least a further alarm. Still have to... And then the dogs won't attack me on sight because they only go after you if you have, like, a key or contraband or whatever. I think. I think that's how that works. I might have to try dodging through the car dogs. Um, but as it stands... It's getting kind of late in terms of daytime. I might just want to let the day go by. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to. And I'm kind of dead set not to do any book learning on this map. Like, I want to I want to be able to escape without having to make a key mold. Because I've never done that. I want to see it work. And then if, it, if I fail the second time, I might as well just give it up for good. Like, that's that's just gonna be what I need. Are you Bray? No, you're not. Where did Bray go? Now, the cool thing about Officer Bray, at least the guy that has the red key, is that he will often put himself in situations where he is isolated and, oh, there he is. He's down there. So, like, I've noticed sometimes he will be in this back area over here and isolated, so you can just gang up on him. But of course that means he's behind a metal detector. So, typically if I can, I love to get him right over here. And that is not him. So, we are just gonna go ahead and hit roll call. Oh, dinner time. That's the problem too, like when I'm running up to an officer, I want to know his name. But a lot of times they start speaking, and I can't see because other words. Yeah, usually they're yelling at me. That's more. They're not like giving me nice greetings. Do I actually have any bleach on me? That's, that's a good question. No. No, I do not. I don't even... I don't remember seeing a lighter, so... Maybe. I might as well look, and it would be really nice to be able to one-hit KO him. Just, just in case. Just in case I break down and go, alright, I can't run out with the red key, I need to get a key mold. I'll have some materials for it lying around. But yeah, I don't remember seeing a lighter. That is unfortunate. Shower time is the best time. I really love having a guard. So, okay, imagine you're me, right? Imagine you you're on this map and you don't know how all the mechanics work. I didn't know you can move the desks like that. I was going through all the desks and then getting spotted and then running away. Like that was my way of going through the desks. It was awful. And I also didn't know you could wear a guard uniform and not have the desks care. Hey, he started it. You all saw it. I mean, I, I don't. I haven't even done anything on this quest. I guess I should probably give him the orange-colored pen. Like, why not? And then I guess I could look at the other prisoners, see what they're selling. Maybe they're selling a lighter. See, you like me now. Ooh! 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 Lighter! He's gonna give me a lighter! Nice! Gaming Legend says, yo man, what's up? I'm like, yo man, what's up, Gaming Legend? It's good to see you in chat. Thanks for stopping on by. We've been marathoning the whole prison, like all the prisons. This is second to last prison we need. So, we're going to go ahead and quit this quest line real quick. 
because we want to use a lighter in conjunction with these items. And this is, of course, after we figure out where Bray is. I'm just going to stand in the middle here. There you are. Okay, good, good, good. Sir? Can I speak to you about how much I love your red key? Because I really do. I, I forgot. I can't craft anything because I'm too dumb. Oh, that's... That's what I get for saying I don't want to craft anything. Alright, take two. Um, I should be fine with just my fists. Maybe broom handle. How, how does the broom handle? No. Swing speed is too low. Alright. So it's telling me to return to cell. I don't want to return to my cell. But I probably should. This guy will give me bleach. Give me... Give me your bleach. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Give me your bleach. Oh, give me your bleach. Thank you. Okay. And I should be able to return myself. <laughs> the bleach is so that I have a decent weapon when fighting. Like, honestly. I'm not even going to use it for making an infirmary outfit. Alright, so, game plan, we're gonna find Officer Bray, we're gonna beat him to a pulp. Hopefully he'll be wandering in a place that is beneficial to us. Uh, and then... Make our way out. So, let's try looking for him again. This is really... So, I don't know how many people have seen my video completely when I say I did the start to finish and... 7 minutes and 34, 35 seconds. Um, I I did several takes trying to get that video right. And that's why, like, if you hear my voice, it's, like, tensed. Because that was not the first take. That was quite a few takes in. Okay, Bray is out there. Again, uh... Millie's ga Gaming says the Prisoner Editor is going to be lit. Oh my god, I am so hyped for the prison editor. Like, oh, you don't even know. So happy for it. Like, and that's the thing, like, I really, really love seeing, like, what you guys are creating. Because people are super creative when they're coming to making these prisons. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Alright, so Bray, where are you? Where are you? You're still back here? Okay, okay, okay. Game plan is... Knock him out and run again? Will that work? I can but try. I would ideally like to get him to follow me. Hmm. I wonder if I can get him to come after me this way. Like, okay, I understand no streaking. But can you, like, follow me around, sir? Can you follow me? Uh, well, it's free time. And he is walking in this direction. That's a good thing. He might just walk down this way, though. And I'm really, like, gun-shy since we're seeing all these other guys. Yeah, see, this guy walks this way. Yeah, there he goes. But I think he's actually going to be walking out over here. So if we wait for him, we should be able to get him. And the Millis Gaming says that there's a group of people that are going to try and recreate the, all the prisons from the first game. Nice. I'd definitely be interested in playing those as well. I never played the first game. This is uh, the first time I've gotten into an escapist game. I really like it. Um, but the graphics on the first game are a little... Eh. Okay, so it's job time. I think we just gotta wait for Bray to walk out this way. Yeah, here he comes. Nope, there he goes that way. Okay, okay, okay. So, game plan is... I'm just going to bite the bullet and knock him out over here. Because it doesn't look like there's anyone else going to be around here for a while. 
and then we're gonna just run south. Uh, the tricky part will be if I get spotted by another guard. So, we'll knock him around, get him out, grab the key, jet. And then ready to drop the key the moment I'm past the second red door. Alright. And get this into that. And we're free! <laughs> it worked. I have escaped. After, like, I went through 70 years of cryostasis to get to here. So I guess I have 70 years of cryostasis to get back. That's 140 years have passed since I left Earth. And you know what happened? Unfortunately, when I landed... Yeah, I was close to Millions Gaming. Unfortunately, when I landed, I landed in North Korea. So that you know what that means. That's right. I get to experience the glorious regime firsthand. Bam. Let's do this. Now, the escape I'm going to do, and it's a fun one, I'm probably going to do a video on it later. It does not require me to have any keys. It doesn't even need me to knock out anyone. All I need to do is find two crowbar, one duct tape, and one rope. And I will be able to leave this place. Roll call is <laughs> here in the shadow of our glorious leader. The finest meals prepared just for us. Generously provided by our glorious leader, of course. And any unexpected injuries can be fixed by the best doctors. Mm. Thanks to our glorious leader. Hey, <laughs> I love that they're coordinated. That's awesome. We may be as strong as our glorious leader. Greetings, visitor. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Are you thankful? I'm thankful for this visitor center provided by our glorious leader. So nice. So nice. Of <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. I love the creativity on this map. Like, the cutscenes on this is amazing. I love it. This gaming asks if I'm getting the DLC prisons. Of course. Oh, yeah, definitely getting them. Home, even though I don't know I no I don't need it I throw it up and then definitely hit up glorious leader roll call first I will check to see if any really good no A decent amount of money I'll beat up dangerously no, I'm not going to do that. That requires a lot of crafting. I'll beat up Tony as well. Keep my out. And then... Oh, I, I'm not going to be crafting anything. Oh, no, I do. I need a 70 intellect. That's right. So, might as well take the Beat the Bully quest. Because I'm going to be making a grappling hook. And that's all you need to escape this prison. Just a grappling hook. And I will show you later where it's at. But first we have our book corner, Ma Guru Matt's book corner, as usual, whenever he reads has to do the book mini game. He likes to talk about what books he likes to read. Uh, so for science fiction, I'm not really like like the too hard sci-fi where they go into like Empires and like the Dune series is a good example. That's eh, not my cup of tea. It's kind of like Game of Thrones in space, I guess you could describe it. Where that's it's usually too big. Like I can't really wrap my head around that. It doesn't. It's not fun, you know. I don't view it as like a a futuristic awesome world. It's usually pretty crappy too. Like there's always bad stuff going around. Like that's what I really liked about Star Trek is the. Uh, the fact that it was really optimistic. 
there was about exploring. Like, it wasn't a... You didn't start with a crap world, you just were like, we're trying to figure out all the cool things we can find. So Millie's Gaming asks, what are my predictions what they'll be based on? Um, I think there might be a moon prison, I'm hoping. Like, that would be really cool. Uh, but, uh, no tripping, Matt. You shouldn't say what you think they'll be based on, because you're going to say Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh, no, th so I think they're going to be based on, uh, like, I actually really hope. I don't know this will happen, but I hope that they have a fantasy-themed prison. Like a dungeon! Would be so awesome! You got trolls guarding you that are patrolling and uh... I don't know what else you do, like you have to find spells or whatever instead of crafting materials for everything? I don't know, I think there's a lot of potential for it. Other than that, um... An underwater prison, like uh, Bioshock, like that would be pretty cool. I think that would be really neat. Maybe even like new mechanics on how to escape. Oh, I got it all the way to job time. Mm. Can I even take a job just to, so I don't have to keep running up this staircase way over here? Oh, there's some bleach. Uh, I'm not gonna beat you up for bleach. I'm okay. I did take a swipe though, because I thought about it. I was like, he has bleach. Ah, uh, can't get any jobs. They're already all filled. Well, except for this one, but I don't have the strength for it. Alright, that's cool. I'm still needing to get my intellect up anyway. Not a big issue. Now, one of the interesting things is uh, it is super difficult to find any sort of putty on this map. The keys are so rare. Except you can get a quest line and you can get a red key from it. It's like really just one quest, but it has like three parts. But that's the easiest way I know to get red keys on this map. And if you're like escaping with friends and you all need red keys for whatever reason that's the way and then like there is some places you like especially on the multiplayer the wax in is a very weird location up on the guard desk um, I think I describe it in one of my videos or in the description of the video I tell about it um, yeah it's the only guaranteed spawn for wax that I've seen Almost ah, so close to 70. Just like a few energy away. Let's just do this. Come on. This should work. Yeah! Alright. I am set when it comes to my intellect. I might as well go ahead and just do the beat the bully quest. It'll give me this stuff and I can beat up someone. Like, chirping math, that's a huge block of text, I don't know. Alright. Well, hashtag the real guru math. I like it though. It is roll call. He's finally out that I can go into this desk. That's also the good thing about this map, is uh, the metal detectors are few and far between. They're just more towards getting resources or escaping. You don't have to worry about checking into places. So that's nice. Even this, you can go on the other side and there is a free area to walk through, so you can even get to your job. Not worry about it. I really should be checking desks anyway for rope and... A crowbar. I'm doing quests occasionally so that I can get enough money to buy a crowbar if I need it. And of course, duct tape. Da -da -da. Nope. No good. On to the next area. And then, 
for moving discs, it's n you don't move them very far, but I find it's still a quality of life thing to have them like right here, so when you enter the room, you just like bam bam. It is free time, so I got plenty of time to go through desks. Found ourselves our little of duct tape. It's really exciting. I get to see chats having a fun time talking about all these escapes. It's great. So, I have overabundance of duct tape. Oh, a let me guess, one of the things was in here that I needed. Yep. I, I, like, saw it. Just saw that it was duct tape and remembered that I already had duct tape, so I just ignored it. Alright, there we go. Now I gotta go find Jubbo and beat them up. After, I keep looking through all these desks. I'm sure I'll find some, uh, crow bars in here. Or at least rope. I would like to find some rope. But a crowbar would be nice. And hey, we are on our last prison, so the stream will be coming to a close very shortly. Once I finally escape, thank you very much for everyone that's joined in and even stopped by or talked in the chat. I really appreciate every, everyone hanging out with me. Chirpy Matt, thank you so much for being there yelling at me. <laughs> Special shout out to Dusty Cat for catching me not getting the flimsy cutters when I needed on Fort Tundra. I would have forgotten completely and uh, been stuck. So he saved my butt. Man, that would have been a scramble. Oh! I'm, I'm a silly man. I forgot about this escape. Alright, time to find the guy with bleach. I did promise Dusty Cat that I would escape this way, so you're gonna have to see the uh, other escape some other time. Alright, let's see if I can get the bleach. Thank you. Oh, okay, the ice pack, duct tape I need. Oh man, I really hoped I'd get away with that. Alright. It's okay. I need it. These are the items that I needed anyway. And I know where more duct tape is. Okay, so for the cold case escape, we need an infirmary outfit, which is why I grabbed the tub of bleach. Um, and I found an ice pack in one of the prisoner's desks, which was nice. Otherwise, I'd have to go into like the guard's desks in order to try and find it. Uh, but see... The second ice pack will always spawn in this desk right here. So this is where you grab it. If I had like a con- Oh, I can make a contraband pouch! I rem- That's awesome! I, I have the resources for that. Uh, I think this might be the desk. Yeah! I just need to find more uh, duct tape. See if I can't find one. I think there was one over here. No. Maybe up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and quit the beat the bully because I lost the weapon it wants me to use to beat the bully. You know what, I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, the foil was just for fun in case, because you don't get, you can uh, avoid that, but all I have to do is run by it and hit this anyway, so I'm good. There you go. The cold case escape, where you just shock yourself till you look like you're dead. <laughs> and the medics are really happy to finally cart you away. So after spending 140 years away from Earth, 
crashing in North Korea and then escaping. I'm finally free. Alright, so the total time on my timer is a lot. It says 224 minutes. So that's how long it took me to get through everything. Okay, okay. Well, I, I'm probably going to be putting this up on YouTube. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Keep bringing me like ideas like for n various escapes if you find like cool things and cool tips. Comment on the videos. Let me know. I, I love hearing that stuff and it's good for everyone else to know too. Now um, I've got these videos up on the Gamepedia wiki uh, for the escapists too. And uh, people will be finding their way to them hopefully and as they need them. And uh, hopefully now. So yeah. Billy's Gaming says I did it for almost four hours. It's still a shorter time than it took me to get the race from space. Oh man, that was that was a trial. That was mostly me not knowing what to do, but anyway. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And good luck escaping. <laughs>